Former South Korean military detector Chung Tu Hwan dies at 90. Former South Korean President Chung Tu Hwan was released from jail on December 22, 1997. Seoul, South Korea. Former South Korean President Chung Tu Hwan, whose iron fist rule of the country following a 1979 military coup sparked a massive democracy protest died on Tuesday at the age of 90, his former press aide said. Chan had multiple myeloma, a blood cancer which was the remission, and he he, his health had deteriorated recently, his former press secretary, Min Chong Gi, told the reporters. He died at his Seoul home early in the morning and his body will be moved to the hospital for the funeral later in the day. A former military commander, Chun, presided over the 1980 Guangzhou Army massacre of pro-democracy demonstrators, a crime for which he was later convicted and received a commuted death sentence. His death came about a month after another former president and his cop comrade, No Te U, who played a crucial but controversial role in the country's troubled transition to democracy, died at the age 88. And a loop Ramroad straight to Chun during his mid 1990s the trial depended the COP as necessary to save the nation from the political crisis and denied it sending troops into Guangzhou. I'm sure that I'm, I, I would take the same action if the same situation arose, Chun told the court. Chun was born on March 6, 1931, in Yulgok. Myon, a poor farming town in the southeastern country of Ham Chun, Hap Chun, during Japanese rule over Korea. Former South Korean President Chun Tu Hwan lived for the court hearing in Seoul on August 9, 2021. He joined the military straight out of the high school, walking his way up the ranked until he was appointed the commander in 1979. Taking charge of the investigation into the assassination of President Park Chung he that day, that year, Chung courted key military allies and gained control of South Korea's intelligence agencies to headline a December 12 coup. In front of the most powerful organizations under the Park Chung He presidency, it surprised me how easily Chun gained control over them and how skillfully he took advantage of the circumstances. In an instant, he seems to have grown into a giant. Park Chung Kwang, Chun's subordinary, during the COP, later told the journalist Cho Gapje. Chun's eight year rule, rule in the presidential Blue House was characterized by brutality and political repression. It was, however, also marked by growing economic prosperity. Chun resigned from office amid a nationwide student led democratic movement in 1979. 1987, demanding a direct electoral system. In 1995, he was charged with the mutiny, treason, and was arrested after refusing to appear at the pro prosecutor's office and fleeing to his hometown. And what local media dubbed the trial of the century, he and the Cope, co-conspirator and the succeeding President No Te U were found guilty of mutiny, tra treason, and bribery.
In their verdict, judges said Chan's rise to power came through illegal means which inflicted enormous damage on the people. U.S. President Ronald Reagan pointed out some of the sites from the Truman balcony of the White House to South Korean President John Do Hwan's his wife in 1981. Thousands of students were believed to have been killed in, at Gwangju, according to testimonies by survivors, former military officers, and investigators. Lo was given a lengthy jail term while Chan was sentenced to death. However, that was uh, commuted by the Seoul High Court in recognition of Chan's role in the fast, fast paces economic development of the Asian tiger economy and the peaceful transfer of the transparency presidency to Lo in 1988. Both men were pardoned and freed from jail in 1997 by President Kim Yong sam in what he called an effort to promote national unity. Trump made sev several returns to the spotlight. He caused a national funeral in 2003 when he claimed the total assets of 291,000 won. $245 of cash, two dogs, and some home appliances, while owing some 220.5 billion won in fines. His four children and other relatives were later found to own large swaths of land in Seoul and luxurious villas in the United States. Chan's family in 2013 vowed to pay off the bulk of his debt, but his unpaid fines still totaled some 10 billion won, 100 billion won as of December 2020. In 2020, Chung was found guilty and received an eight month suspended sentence for defaming a late democracy activist and Catholic priest in his 2017 memoirs. Prosecutors have appealed and Chan had faced a trial next week.